You know, I have one simple request, and that is to have sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their heads. Now, evidently, my cycloptic colleague informs me that that can't be done. What do we have? Sea bass. Right. They are mutated sea bass. Really? Are they ill-tempered? Absolutely. Well, you guessed it. We're going to be talking about lasers today. Welcome to Flynn Dog Woodwork. Today, I've got an amazing technological tool that I think is pretty amazing. Now, I'm going to forewarn you, this thing is not cheap. However, it's got some amazing features. So let's not waste any time and take a look at this tool. So this tool that we're going to take a look at today is a tool that I've been eyeballing for a long time. However, the price has always sort of scared me. But on this channel, I really like to highlight cutting edge tools that have unique features, even if they are out of our budget. And just to be transparent, this is a tool that was gifted to me. However, I've been looking at this tool for the past couple of weeks, so when they approached me to give me a free sample, the timing was impeccable. How do you feel your chances are in the ALEs? Um, I mean, I love our chances, you know, it's been... Uh, it's been... <laughs> so that's enough build up. Let's get into it and start to take a look at this tool. So this tool is a bilateral laser distance meter made by Milesy, and this is the DP20. So let's get into this box and see what it's all about. So inside the box, you're gonna get a nice zippered carrying case along with the tool itself. You'll also get a little strap for the tool along with a charger. The dimensions of this tool are six and a quarter inches long by one and five eighths inches wide. Just comfortable enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Can anybody in here tell me how this happened? So let's take a closer look at the physical construction of this tool. So this tool is made of an aluminum alloy and actually has three lasers on the tool. It's got one at the very top and one on each end. If we look at the back side of the tool, there's a little screw hole where you can attach it to things like tripods. You'll notice on the front side, there's a lot of buttons here. And when I first got this tool, I thought this would be a little bit difficult to figure out. However, this thing is really easy and user intuitive. So let's fire this bad boy up and see everything that this tool can do. So since my shop has way too much light and it's about 100 degrees in here today, we're gonna take this Miles Z up to my house so that we can take a closer look and a more comfortable look. Warm! Cut on these rhinos. So let's dig into this tool. In order to power this unit on, you press the center button until the LED lights come on. Now let's go through some of the other buttons on this tool. In order to power the unit off, you simply press this yellow button and hold it. Now let's take a look at the display. Now it may be flashing for you because of the frame rate of the camera, but for me, it's very solid and it's very clear. So let's take a measurement using the two lasers on either side. Then we can take a closer look at the display. To take a measurement, we're simply gonna press the center button. If you push this button, two things will happen. One, someone somewhere in the world who you don't know will die. Okay. And two. So let's take a look at the measurements we just did so that we can get a better idea of what the display reads. If you look at the display, you can see there's three numbers. There's one on the left-hand side that shows the distance between the center of this tool to the laser on the left. If we look at the right-hand side, it's showing the distance from the center of the tool to the laser on the right. The bottom is simply just the addition of the two numbers together. Now that was a measurement using both lasers, but you don't have to use both lasers. If you wanna butt this machine up against a wall, you can turn one laser off and just take the measurement from wall to wall. To do that, you simply press either the left or the right button to turn off either the left or the right laser. In this case, I press the left button and now I've turned off the left laser. So by doing that, I can butt my tool right up against the wall and shoot the laser to the opposite wall. Then I can press the center button and get that measurement. And here you can see that measurement is just a little bit over one foot three inches. In the same fashion, you can also turn off the right hand laser. To do that, you press the right arrow to turn off that laser. Then in the same fashion, you can use your left hand laser, butt your tool up against the wall, press the center button to get the measurement on the left hand side. And in this case, we're a little bit over one foot two inches. 
So I've already explained that the left hand arrow and the right hand arrow are used to turn the right and the left laser on and off, but there's also an up arrow. If we press this button, it'll actually turn on a center laser that will shine straight up. This laser is perfect if you're doing things like framing out a building or you need to hang a picture in a particular spot. Since we're talking about that center laser, let's take a look at this yellow button that's underneath the arrows. If we press this, this allows you to divide up your room space into segments. Now here you can see this tool is currently set to break up any measurement into 11 segments. And this tool allows you to break up a measurement anywhere from two segments all the way up to 16 segments. So let's take a measurement and we'll divide the measurement in half. So first I'll take the measurement. So now that I have that measurement, I can slide my tool to the right to find the exact center in between these two points. Once I get to that center location, it will let me know that I'm right in the middle. So knowing that this is the exact center in between these two pieces of wood, I can use this laser line to do things like hanging pictures. And as I said before, you can divide a room up as much as 16 segments. So one thing that I noticed when playing around with this tool in my barn is that the display can be somewhat difficult to see. Now there is a feature that I'm gonna show you here in a second. However, you cannot change the brightness of this tool. Now, even though you can't change the brightness of the tool, you can make your display bigger. By pressing this button right here, you can make your display quite large. I'm just seeing shadows and shapes. <laughs> well, that about covers all the buttons on the left-hand side of this tool. Now let's migrate over to the right-hand side and take a look at those buttons. Now we already talked a little bit about this yellow button. This is simply used to clear out wherever you're at or simply turn the unit off. If we look right next to that, you can see there's a unit button. And this allows you to go in from fractions, to meters, to feet, to inches, and then back to feet and inches with fractions. So whether you're using Imperial or metric, this tool should have you covered. The Imperial system's better. Anyone who says otherwise is a freak. He was not happy about that at all. He said, listen, I am mad, but he was French, so he said something like, I am mad, croissant. The button below the unit button is actually the memory button, and this allows you to store multiple measurements into this device. You can also connect this by Bluetooth to your phone if you're doing something like measuring out a house. Therefore, you can label each measurement to know exactly what it is. The next button in this device is probably one of the most important ones. This allows you to go into different modes to do different types of measurements. So let's press this mode button and see what kind of measurements we can do. If we press it once, you can see this is using the dual laser just to get a measurement in between two spots. If we press it again, this will actually get you the square feet of any room. The next button shows you how to do volumes. After that, we have the Pythagorean mode, which is great for people like roofers or people that want to find angles and measurements. I don't want to paint with a broad brush here, but every single contractor in the world is a miserable, incompetent thief. The next allows you to shoot a laser at two points to get the actual distance between those two points. So let's test out each one of these features to see how accurate it is. The first one that I want to test out is using both lasers on the right and the left hand side. I'm going to take the measurement in between these two pieces of wood and then take a tape measure and see how accurate it is. So if we look at this measurement, this says that we're exactly at 17 and one half inches. If I take my tape measure, you can see that we're almost spot on at 17 and a half inches. So obviously that was a very short measurement, and this tool claims that it can go up to 260 feet. So I'm going to take another longer measurement and see how accurate that is. So in this case, I'm still going to use those two pieces of wood and take the measurement. And if we look at the display, it says we're at 125 inches and 7 sixteenths. And if we look at my tape measure, I'm right at 125 inches and exactly 7 sixteenths. So I'll be honest, I'm really surprised at the accuracy of this tool so far. Now let's go on to some of the other modes and test some of those. Now let's move on to the next mode, which is testing square feet. Okay, so 76,000 square feet, how much of that do you use? Only two rooms. Now one thing that I want to show you is that the tool will actually tell you what to measure first and second or third if that's the case. 
So if we look at the display, you can see the bottom edge of this shape is actually blinking. So we're gonna take the length measurement first. Now that we've taken that measurement, you can see that the right hand side of this shape is now blinking. So we're actually gonna take the width of the room next. Once we've taken that measurement, you can now see it's showing how much square feet we've accounted for. Now let's take a look at the next mode, which is the volume mode. And here you'll see that we wanna take the first measurement, which is blinking on the very bottom of this shape. So first I'll take my length measurement. And with the length measurement made, you can now see that the width is actually flashing. So we'll take our width next. And finally, you can see that the height measurement is now flashing. So we'll take that next. And here you can see we're at 1,422 cubic feet. Now let's check out the next mode, which is the Pythagorean mode. This allows us to figure out an angle or the pitch of a roof. So we'll press the mode button one more time to get to the Pythagorean mode. Yes, it's about triangles, but not just any, right triangles only, which is kind of racist actually. It's basically right supremacy. Now I know the Pythagorean theorem, however, I'm no expert in the Pythagorean mode. This is probably something that roofers would use on a regular basis. So what it's telling me to do is to take a measurement where I know there's a 90 degree angle. So here I'll take my laser and I'll shine one point at the floor where I want the roof to intersect and then the other one at the very top in the corner where the ceiling meets the wall. And here are the results we get. We get 40.2 degrees and 129 inches and 15 sixteenths. So I assume this tells you the length of the measurement you just took along with the angle it's at. The last mode is a mode that allows you to shoot a laser at two points and figure out the distance between those two points. So for this mode, I can simply stand in one place, shoot a laser to the top and the bottom, and figure out exactly what that distance is. And in this case, it's 93 inches and 11 sixteenths. You can also see it's at 53.9 degrees. So that takes us through all the modes. There's only one more feature I'd like to show you, and that's the angle finder along with the level. And that feature is at the very bottom of the tool, and this is usually visible. You can see the angle change as I rotate the tool back and forth. There's also an indicator when you're completely level right in the center of the tool. Well, that about covers it for this Milesly DP20 Pro. This thing has a lot of amazing features that I can see myself using all the time around the house. I'm really pleased with the accuracy of this tool, and by having three lasers on it, this thing can tackle things that other laser measurement tools can't. So thanks for joining me today on checking out this amazing technological tool. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and leave a comment. It truly helps out this small woodworking channel. Until next time, take care as always.